The Advanced Wizard allows you to create a report containing infrared images, matching photos, text comments, and report properties. To start the wizard, click the Report tab from the FLIR Report Center, and then click Use the Advanced FLIR Reporter Wizard. The wizard is divided into four steps. The order of the tabs reflects the typical workflow of the reporting process, but you can switch between the different tabs at any time during the wizard. The first step is to select a template. Reporter comes with six sample templates to get you started. The template is the basis for the report format, so all report pages will look like the IR template page. For example, if we select the electrical standard template, all report pages will look like this. There's a placeholder for an IR image and a matching photo, as well as some tables showing text comments and image information. The View IR template uses a simpler format. This has a placeholder for an IR image only. You can experiment with different template formats to see which works best for your reports. Using Word, you can edit the sample templates and also create your own templates if needed. Once you have selected a template, click Next to add the IR images and photos. You must first find and select the folder containing your images. All disk drives on your PC can be accessed from this window. If you select a folder containing images, you will see thumbnails appear in the center window. You can resize the thumbnails if needed. If you want to add all images in the selected folder, simply click the Add All Images button. This instantly creates all the report pages and will automatically associate the matching photo. The auto association feature is unique to certain FLIR camera models. Please refer to your camera documentation for more details. It isn't necessary to add all images to take advantage of the auto association feature. Let's say that you wanted to add these six images to the report. Click on the first image to select it, then hold down the Shift key and click on the last image. Now drag and drop the selected images over to the page list. This creates all the pages, leaving a blank space for the photo. If you click the Add Associated Images button, it will find any matching photos in the selected folder and add them to the corresponding page. Not all FLIR cameras can store a matching photo, so what if you want to add your own visual photo to the report? There is a very easy way to add photos from any digital camera. First, you must add the IR images by selecting them and dragging them over to the page list similar to the previous step. You can drag and drop a single image or groups of images. Now find the photos. They can be in the same folder or a different folder on your PC. Click on the matching photo for page 1, and then drag and drop it onto the photo placeholder. Repeat this process for each report page. Enlarging the thumbnails can sometimes help to identify the matching photo. If you click on a page, all buttons underneath the page list become enabled. You can move a page up or down. You can delete a single page or delete all pages. Click the Next button to add IR text comments and listen to voice comments. Text comments can be used to annotate IR images in the report with specific details such as the location of the scan, the identification of the item, the potential problem, 
and so on. To enter text comment values, click on the page and then click on the button to add text comments from template. This will show a list of predefined labels from the selected template. Click in the value column to begin entering the data for the selected image. Repeat this process for each page. When you finish the report, the text data will automatically populate the tables on the report page. Some FLIR cameras have the ability to record voice comments. If the selected image contains voice, the play button will be enabled in the voice comments section of the window. If you click play, you can listen to the comment and type the appropriate text as it plays back through your PC speakers. Click the next button to add report properties and create the final report. Report properties are often used to add information about the report, such as the thermographer name, company name, and so on. The labels are predefined in the selected template. Click in the value column to type the appropriate text for the selected label. This is the last step of the wizard. If you click the finish button, Reporter will create a new Word document containing all images and text comments added during the wizard. The end result is a Microsoft Word document with embedded IR image data. You can save the report as a standard Word document. You probably noticed a FLIR Reporter tab in Word. This is created when you install Reporter that contains all FLIR Reporter functions. A common question is how to change the temperature units for the report. This can be done easily if you click the FLIR button on the FLIR Reporter tab and then click Set Units. Temperature units can be set to Celsius, Fahrenheit or Kelvin. Distance units can be set to meters or feet. Another common question is how to change the logo at the top of the page. This is just a picture file inserted into the Word header. If you double click on the picture it will change the focus from the document to the header. Now you can right click on the picture and cut it from the page. Then you can insert your own picture. Double-click anywhere on the page to close the header. An advantage of using the header is that all pages will update once the change is made. The text comments added during the wizard appear in a table to the right of the photo. This is not a standard word table. It is called a reporter result table. It is designed to show IR image information, so don't type text into this table. If you do, the text will be erased when the table refreshes. If you need to edit text comment values, click on the notepad icon on the IR image. This shows all the text values added during the wizard. You can click on any value and type new text. When you click OK, the table automatically updates. To add other data to this table, right click on it and click contents. IR image information, object parameters, text comments, and temperature data can be shown using these tables. Simply click the desired checkboxes and click OK. Rows will be automatically added. The table to the right of the IR image is the exact same type of table. The IR images are embedded in the Word document. 
allowing you to adjust parameters such as the level and span. If you right click on the color scale, you can select a different color palette. You can experiment with different palettes to see which works best for your image. You can measure temperatures by moving the box and spot meter that are currently on the image. Note that the temperature readings automatically update in the table. To add measurement tools, single click on the image to show the measurement toolbar, and then click on the desired measurement tool to select it. Spot meters can measure a single point on the image, while areas can be used to measure the maximum and minimum temperature within a region of interest. To delete a tool from the image, right click on it, and then click delete. To change object parameters such as emissivity, right click on the IR image and click settings. Then click the object parameters tab. All temperatures on the image will update to take into account the new object parameter settings. When you are done editing the report, you may want to convert it to a PDF file. This is a convenient format for distribution to colleagues and customers. Click the FLIR Reporter tab, and then click Create PDF Document to save a PDF copy of your Word document. 